Welcome Capricorn and Cross Watchers. This is your general love reading. Capricorn, I feel like you're trying to take it to a, a new level because I, with the happiness and the Queen of Pentacles, I almost got the happy wife, happy life. So stick around. Let's see where this goes. Capricorn, let's get into your energy. Then we'll get into the energy of all 12 signs. Uh, then I will get into your reading and then get you some clarity. So with that, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Capricorn. Capricorn, ooh, 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 look at this. Capricorn, I think you're saying I do. Look at that. So you want to be with somebody. You want to offer your love in a foundation, a celebration. So you want to offer your love in a marriage, okay? I feel like you, you're you offering your love in a relationship or I feel like almost like, like they're celebrating. They're celebrating with everybody around them. So with this, I feel like you're giving into this and I feel like you're offering your love in a relationship or a marriage. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Capricorn. What's Capricorn? What is the energy around Capricorn? Starting with Aries, please. If you're dealing with an Aries. Oh, look at this. If you're dealing with Aries, there's there's emotional communication to somebody. Uh, their cup's running over. So, you know, the Queen of Pentacles could be a wife, okay? Um, you may be asking somebody to marry you. I'm just saying that's an offer of someone's either uh, that's a small offer or emotional communication um, with that cup running over. So if you're dealing with a Taurus. I feel like uh, there could be an option, a third party option. If you're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like someone's very stuck up in their head about a queen of wands. If you're dealing with a cancer. I feel like um, this is somebody from the past. Could be a past life soulmate, but you're the king of pinnacles here. So you're either the queen of pinnacles or you're the king of pinnacles here. It doesn't matter, either one. Um, but the, the cancer is dealing with somebody from the past. That's a Capricorn. If you're dealing with a Leo, I feel like someone's holding back because of betrayal. If you're dealing with a Virgo, someone's manifesting their empress. If you're dealing with a Libra, someone's being patient because they're kind of guarded and defensive, trying to find some balance because they're guarded and defensive. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, someone's making a head over heart decision to cut somebody out and move on. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, someone's moving forward with equal give and take. If you're dealing with another Capricorn, Someone's hiding that they have a choice. I secretly have a choice between two. If you're dealing with a an Aquarius, uh, something's ended so something new can begin in a relationship. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, uh, someone's heartbroken about a family situation. Capricorn, your energy is is you want to offer your love. Uh, in a relationship or a marriage. So let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know, please? Someone's recovering from some kind of betrayal. Someone was rushing or maybe rushed into a relationship. They're not speaking and they're heartbroken. I feel like you're very up in your head, sleepless nights, needing some strength, and you're waiting. You're waiting to work on a situation, to have happiness. But there is burdens. This person's carrying two children on their back. So it's a family situation. 
So I feel like something's going to transform unhappiness because someone regrets something. So they're they're transforming some kind of regret or they're transforming some kind of unhappiness because of regret. So someone wants to be with, uh, this is um, um, the night of cups. Somebody's wanting to offer their love, but being very strategic about it, planning, planning, planning with communication under the bottom of the deck, watching, planning. Let's see what's going on for Capricorn. Holy Spirit, angel, spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Capricorn, please. Ten of Swords. Uh, so there is a burden of betrayal here. And someone's resting and recovering in order to move forward. Trying to balance. They're trying to be patient about whether or not they rush in or not. They're trying to be balanced. Okay. Trying to be patient about rushing in. They don't want to jump in too quickly. Uh, with a relationship with the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or it could be somebody that isn't going to take a lot of crap off, off of anybody. You're not speaking, not speaking, using your intuition, wanting to communicate. This is about some kind of strife, jealousy, and competition. Okay, you may have not been speaking to this person, but you want to communicate about the strife, jealousy, and competition. So somebody was heartbroken and they moved on. You're up in your head about a new passionate beginning. You're needing strength to reconcile something. You're waiting because you have to either make a decision. You're waiting to make a decision about a new beginning of love and abundance. I feel you want to work on a relationship. You want happiness. You've gotten clarity on what, what you want. And But I feel like there's burden here for you. So you're carrying all the burden here, Capricorn. You're carrying all the burden on your back is what you feel like. OK, so there's either an ending, ending of discontent, ending of a missed opportunity. But I feel like there was. I feel like you're ending the unhappiness and regret. I feel like with this, uh, you. You may have breadcrumbed somebody and made them unhappy because there's a fight. There's a harsh truth about somebody um, being unhappy because there was no equal give and take. That's what the communication is about. But you want to transform that. See, it's the same cards. Exactly. You know, this is you regret something you want happiness with a queen of pentacles this could be your energy could be the person you're dealing with but look how much this mirrored one another okay you have you have the death card you have the four of cups and you have the five of cups you have the six of pentacles would be equal equal give and take again with the four of cups speaking a harsh truth about that and again with the five of cups having that um regret wanting to be so okay there was no equal give and take, and somebody was very unhappy, needing to speak a truth, a harsh truth, but they regret this. They want happiness with a queen of pentacles. So I feel like they want happiness with somebody they want to marry. This is a husband and a wife here, okay? So I feel like they want happiness as a couple, a married couple. So you may, everybody has a past. But you have to, if you want to move forward and you want this to go to another level of commitment, you got to release the things behind you. So I feel like you're being strategic how you, you're, I feel like you want to offer your love, but you're being very strategic about how you communicate. So you're, you're, because you've looked at the past mistakes, you know that you've had mistakes. Okay. You see something differently and you've ended those things to start something anew. Okay. Out in the cold. Uh, being divinely guided because of heartbreak. 
to a family situation. So I feel like you've come full circle and you're being divinely guided to a family situation. So out in the cold, being divinely guided because of heartbreak to a Ten of Cups. But you're very up in your head about something long-term and committed, and you're working on this, trying to master your emotions. I feel like you're trying to work on um, taking things to a higher level here. I feel like, you know, you've come full circle in something. You're releasing what doesn't serve you. And I feel like, you know, we all have a past, but you have the burden of a family on your back, I feel like. And I feel like you want to take this to another level so that you're, that's, everybody's happy. Because you want, you want the happiness of your, you, you want happy wife, happy life, okay? That's what I'm feeling like with that. The happiness of your, your spouse or your person. That's what's important to you, their happiness. You're offering something, you're offering, you're offering something, but oh, destruction, yes, new direction, raising the vibration. Okay, so this is an offer or an apology. This is an offer or an apology. Look at this. Offer or an apology for the destruction. So you're apologizing for anything that could have been disastrous here, okay? Because, yes, you want to go in a new direction with a higher vibration. You're ready to go to the next level. You really are. Capricorn, I think you have wedding bills in your future. Someone... You know, you see the beauty and happiness of justice, okay? So someone, you may have, they may have been grieving something. There's new beginnings here, new beginnings of love, okay? I feel like you have new beginnings in love, and I feel like there's justice for the grieving here. There's, ju there's grieving, but there's justice here, okay? And happiness and beauty, um, justice. So you're, you're letting go of this. You're releasing anything that's the pain of the past. So that you can have happiness, you see the beauty here, and you want justice to have these new beginnings in love. So Capricorn, that's all I have for you. If this resonates, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you have a wonderful week.